In this video, I'm gonna show you how to be able to use parallel processing in N8N so that you can have multiple activities going on at once in a single workflow. Now, um, I'll admit, this is something that I've been struggling with for many months. I wish I had known how to do this. It just, I could never seem to find a good option. Anytime I like would have any branches, anytime I would have splits in my, my workflows, it was always just go one at a time. Even when I had, you know, execute workflow nodes in here, it, it just, it would always call the workflow once and then it would come and do it again. And then it would do it again. And I was never able to figure out how to do parallel processing, but I just figured it out. So I wanted to share it with you and show you how it works. So what I have here is just a, a simple workflow. Um, basically, I'm going to type in the word apples. This is going to generate a couple different um, apple names. That's all it is. Super, super quick uh, workflow. This will turn them into individual items for me. And then each one's going to get passed through here. This one just sets the apple name so it goes in right. And then here we have an AI agent using five nano, so a really fast model. But basically, I'm just asking it to write a brief sentence about each. And so normally what I would do is I type in Apple and it's going to come in and it's going to make my list for me. It's going to process it. And then this is going to run. It's going to go one, two, three. So we can watch it here. It generated seven Apple names for me. Uh, what did we get? Well, just while we're generating, we got Granny Smith, Red Delicious, Fuji, Gala, Honeycrisp, and so on. But here we've got the first one. We got number two going in. All right. Let's see. It's, it's taken a while. There's three, right? And so this is how we normally would have our workflows going. And this is often how long it takes. Now, if you want these things to go faster, especially if you know exactly what process you want each thing to go through, and it isn't necessarily depend, you know, the rest of your workflow isn't necessarily dependent on this information coming through. Uh, what you can do is you can use a sub workflow. And so I'll come over here. I have a sub workflow that has my edit field node and my AI agent. It's the exact same as here. So I just copied these, pasted them in, added a, a trigger here. So it's called Apple. I got my input and it's going to set the Apple, like I said, and then it's just going to write a brief sentence. So nothing different. All right. But what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take my chat trigger node, just bring it down here. And like I just showed you, it went one at a time. Now, if I type Apple now, it's going to come here. It's going to create my Apple names for me, just like before. It's going to turn them into individual items. And then this is going to run through and it's going to complete. Boom, it's done. The workflow is done. Like, but how, how is it done? Because the sub workflow is now running. So if I come over to my executions, we'll see that we have a couple that are still running, but we've got, uh, and it could be they got, they got timed out. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items here that all got executed at the exact same time. You'll see, and they all took about, you know, five seconds, 10 seconds, something like that. And each one was able to write me a sentence about an apple. So I can come in here and I can see my, my sentence about an apple. Now I could have then processed that, put it into like a Google spreadsheet. I could have done something else with it and then maybe have thrown down a wait timer here wait for 10 seconds 30 seconds uh before then processing pulling the spreadsheet getting the data but i didn't have to wait you know however long we waited up here for this one so let's uh let's check my execution on this one so i waited 45 seconds on this one this one had uh seven seconds plus you know, the, the longest was almost 11 seconds. So if I add 11 plus seven, I get 18 seconds, which is a third, you know, about a third of the time in order to be able to process all that same information. I got the same information out, I got it all done and in, in, in way faster. So how does this actually work? So what we do is you have to have multiple items coming in to an execute workflow node, all right? You're gonna set your workflow to whatever the workflow is that's gonna do the process that you need repeated over and over again. So think of this like whatever you'd have go through your loop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this to mode of run once for each item. So instead of sending everything in all at once into one thing and then it gets processed by one workflow, uh, we're gonna send it just one at a time. And then we're gonna have our option turned on for wait for sub workflow completion, have that turned off. So here under options, turn that on. It's automatically turned on to green, just turn that off. And then it will run all of them all at once. And then the workflow will run. All right, if you turn this off, or if you, I should I say, if you have this on, it will do one at a time, just like before. So this one right here, this is the key in order to be able to get it to run parallel processing. It's gonna send all of your items all at once, 
It's gonna activate your other workflow and it's gonna do it for however many items that you have. And each one's gonna go through the process all at the same time. So really cool feature. I wish I had known this before. Hopefully you're able to find some use for this for yourself. And if you think this is gonna be helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, it really does help. Looking to take your AI development further with more tutorials and free N8N workflows? Simply click the link in the description below to go to our free school community where you can find many more AI and N8N tutorials as well as all of our starter workflows that will allow you to start building AI tools directly into your business. And if you're serious about building AI automation tools into your business using N8N, be sure to check out our advanced community where we give new tools each week that will actually make a difference in your business. This is where we keep all of our exclusive tools and resources for committed business owners looking to ride this AI wave. In addition, you'll get direct access to me to help you through your setup and tech issues, our business building course library, and so much more. And as always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.